is for Mr. Fitzpatrick. Uh, do you believe that we are on a fiscal cliff and about ready to go over? One side wants to raise taxes and continue to spend more money. The other side wants to cut taxes and reduce spending. What is your position? Well, I don't believe that we're on a fiscal cliff about to go over, but I do believe we are in a weakened financial position as a country because of wasteful Washington spending and increasing national debt, which if we don't deal with it, will require massive cuts to social programs along the lines of what we see in Greece and Spain and Portugal over the course of the past two years. Uh, those cuts of which will be disruptive to the national economy and to the social fabric and the social safety net programs that we've enjoyed in this country for a long time. And so it is critically important that we deal with those issues today rather than wait until we're on the cliff heading over the waterfall, so to speak. And that day is coming. That day is not so far away, but we're not, we're not on the verge of it, luckily for us. The question is whether or not the American people are going to send individuals to represent them in the United States Congress with the courage to address these issues. I've addressed these issues over the last 18 months to two years. I'm being criticized for taking strong positions with respect to wasteful spending and the long-term debt obligations of this country. I'm for a balanced budget amendment. I'm for strong budgets that, uh, that take care of the disabled and the poor and those at the margins of society while still being fiscally responsible. Um, so I think a, uh, a fair combination of um, smart reductions in government spending together with uh, pro-growth economic policies and ways to raise revenue through comprehensive tax reform will be the correct approach and the approach needs to be balanced.